Hello YouTubers. Want to wish everybody a happy new year and hopefully for your holidays uh, Santa Claus was good to you and brought you all the trains and model train stuff you wanted. So here we are starting off 2017 and I'm going to do a quick product review on the Tangent Scale Models G43 Gondola and the Conrail Paint. So I just wanted to give a brief history of this gondola. These were built in uh, Pennsylvania by the Pennsylvania Railroad and they went through uh, Penn Central and Conrail and some of these still run on the rails today under CSX and Norfolk Southern. So these were built to replace an aging fleet of gondolas and um, they had three different classes of the G43. They had G43A which were built to haul steel coils, G43B and a G43C which were also built for either scrap or hauling aggregate. So um, one of the notable features on, on this gondola, they have corrugated sides, both if you look here on the inside and outside. And one of the interesting notes I should bring up is that um, the ones that were built for coil steel could only haul four coils at a time, otherwise the gondola would actually bend in the middle. As you can see, this one's built with the coil rack. So this would be modeled um, uh, G43A. All the lettering on this model is crisp and clear, and if uh, you have a magnifier, you can read all the fine print on there. Um, it is detailed very well. The paint is applied very nicely. I looked up uh, information and pictures on the G43 on the Conrail Cyclopedia website as well as Fallen Flags uh, pictures and it's done very well. Even has the flat panels where the logo, here it is, right there and where the road number is as well. Oops, sorry, went off camera there a minute. So it's done quite accurately. Uh, Tangent does offer this model with steel coils as well. I got the one without, so cost a little bit less. I got mine off of eBay at a pretty good price. <clears throat> The detail on this model is very, very nice. I'll show you some of the end detail here. Here's the A end. There you go. It has coupler cut levers, KD scale couplers. Here's the underbody detail. Separate pipe rigging and show you the B end here. I don't have a scale for this model, but I will tell you it weighs as much as the Tangent Hopper, which I believe is close to five ounces and it's very free rolling. So this car will roll quite freely. I have my little test track here propped up at one end so it doesn't roll off the workbench and I won't have an expensive mess to deal with. Here's the B end with the brake wheel. Very well done with the end numbers. If I had mentioned this, I did measure against the, the Katie height gauge that's sitting there on the track. And both ends were at the proper height. All the wheels are engaged. So this is a really nice model right out of the box. And uh, string a couple of these together, uh, load up some coils in it, and you have your nice, yourself a nice little uh, Conrail coil train ready to serve any industry. 
Or you could probably pop in a scrap load right on top of the coil rack and that'll hide that. But, you know, that's all up to you. Um, they do offer this in Pennsylvania Railroad uh, in the Oxide Red, Penn Central Green with the Worm Scheme, and of course the Conrail as seen here. So, and I'm sure they offer several different road numbers for each of these. But this is a really nice model of a specific um, design. And uh, as you can see, the corrugations are also on the inside. That's something you usually don't see on some of the regular models that are out there. It's all corrugated just on the outside, just for the detail and nothing on the inside. And you can see the coil rack on the inside as well. But there you have it. That's the G43 gondola in the Conrail paint scheme. And if you enjoyed this quick review I had, you know, press the like button, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or comments about something you wanted to see on this, uh, leave a comment below. I'll try to answer as best I can. All right. Take care, everybody. Blind Miler out and catch y'all later.